Good morning. Is this Jeff Jaru? Yes, this is Jeff Jaru. <laughs> How are you? Thank I'm you good. so very much for joining us in Dallas, Texas on the Valder BB Show. Yeah, I'm happy to be on the Valder BB Show. Absolutely. Well, you- well, thank you. You know, I'm really excited to talk with you because I had known a little bit about your persona. But yeah. first we'll talk about your movie, I'm in Love with the Church Girl, because I think I can weave your whole life into doing this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, um, there's, there's, there's some parallels. <laughs> so you're in Love with the Church Girl. This and, and, and I had read something in the Wall Street Journal last week before I even had you on my schedule, yeah. how faith-based movies are, are penetrating society, people are finding a place for them because they make money, and here you are in a really big faith-based movie in love with the church girl. Yeah, well, you know I try to be on the cutting edge of things. You know, I try to be... <laughs> 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 uh, okay. yeah, this is a really great story. You know, I'm, I'm proud and very happy to be a part of this of this film and, and you know what faith based films are about to do in Hollywood. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very proud to be one of the f- forefront members of the movement. Yeah. At first, I thought when I heard the title, um, before I watched the clip, I was wondering, okay, how is his fans going to take this? But I <laughs> saw the clip. The, you're not out of your element here in, in, in love with the church girl, are you? Uh, not a hundred percent, you know, um, because I do play a, a, a former drug trafficker in the film that becomes a pastor. So, you know, but it, it's when you think about movies, it's acting. You know, um, there's a lot of roles that could that I could do that could take me out of my element, and, and it doesn't have to be a faith-based film to do that. You know. I believe that, but you know, Jaru, I'm, I'm telling you from the the point of the people sitting in the movie chair. People are having a hard time de- 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 delineating between reality and movies because when they start to talk about the stars, they, they kind of say, yeah, you know, he was a pastor or something. They stop saying now that, oh, he played a pastor. Yeah. So people are blurring the lines very much, so they kind of almost can't tell what's real and what's a movie. Yeah, and that's a, that's a shame right now in, in society, you know, um, that people can't, distinguish what's real and what's not anymore they they just it's like blurred lines you know but um it's it's what we're dealing with in society right now but I, i'm very happy to be a part of this film and um you know if people see me as a pastor in in the future <laughs> then so be it <laughs> okay so i read some interesting things about you i didn't know this so you have to tell me what's and what's not okay, okay i okay. just thought you were a really cute young superstar that's all i knew okay? thank you thank you <laughs> <laughs> yeah matter of fact you look like my son so you know, I, I had great thoughts about you but i realized that you like everyone else and i think this is what uh we'll call you a celebrity this is this is what some celebrities try to get across to people that i've got a regular life just like everybody else i've got joy i've got success but i've got problems i've got family i've got you know, things that cross my life. And I read that you actually had gone to prison. True or not true? True. Absolutely true. true. Yes, yes. I had to do two years in prison. And, um, you know, it was, a, it was a dark, really dark moment in my life. And I'm so happy to have that, you know, in my past now and, and be have it behind me and going forward. You went to prison, and yeah. I read this, and tell me true or not true, that this is, you were starting to read the Bible every day or very often, and this is where you made your connection or reconnection with God, true or not true? Uh, very much true. Um, I think the movie kind of set it off because we shot the film before I went to prison. So, um, you know, God put me in this place. He, you know, he, he put me around all of these church people and all of these good people and right before I went to to prison and you know he gave me just enough to hold me down you know so, so I can get through my prison term and and, and now you're going to spend some one-on-one time with me and and we'll we'll figure this whole thing out you know people don't like to be called a role model Jeru most people that are in the public eye they don't like that they shun that nowadays yeah, yeah. do you think because you've gone to prison, you are now doing this movie, do you think there will be a light for others? And when I say others, 
There are more African American men incarcerated in yeah. any other time in history. And do you think that this can be something for them to hold on to and make a better life for themselves? And I know that's not what you set out to do, but I'm just asking that question. You know, it's funny because um, a lot of people do shun away from being called a role model. I think we should walk towards it more. I, I, I think, you know, when, when, I, when I was younger and, and even before, you know, my time, you know, we had a lot of great, black leaders that young men could look towards and say, yo, I want to be like him. And they were, they were great role models. You know, we had, we had Muhammad Ali, you know, you, you, you had, you know, uh, 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 Malcolm X and, and, and Martin Luther King and, and Jackie Robinson and, you know, all of these dominant black men and, and these public figures that were, that were very, you know, outspoken about their faith. Uh, you know about their 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 ideas and their visions and and, and what they felt the, the the movement should be about, and and I think we we're, we're missing that in society right now. There's there's no body that our young you know black men can look at or our young black women can look at and say you know I I I, I want to be like that person on a positive note. You know that's why it's, it's it was so important for me and and for my kids and and. I know for the older folk, you know, to see Barack Obama be elected president, you know, it was, you know, a lot of people don't like to make it out to be a black and white thing, but it was very much a black and white thing, you know, because for for us as black people, you know, that was that was a, a really inspirational moment, you know, a, a moving time where now our kids can look at, you know, a black president and say, okay, well maybe I can be that one day, versus a ball player or a rapper or you know whatever the case may be so you know i think those images of of prominent you know successful black men those role models they're needed right now in society Darrell, you you endeared yourself in my heart i will always remember you and i'll remember this interview i'm going to wrap up now but i want to ask you a question about something you said you know god sent you to prison let you do the movie sent you to prison where are you where are you in god today Men got cool, man. <laughs> you know, um, I'm getting I'm getting closer and closer. I've I've always felt I had my one on one thing with God, and um, I, I think I'm getting even closer and closer to Him as I've been going to church a lot lately. And you know, um, I recently got saved, so you know, th these these things are, are, are really weighing on my heart, and I and I think um, I'm moving in the right direction. Your movie opens tomorrow, and what would you like to say to the listening audience, especially here in Dallas? But our show is global, but what would you like to tell us to do? How, how do we support your movie? Please go out and support this, this movie. It's in theaters tomorrow, October 18th. You know, bring a friend, tell a friend to tell a friend. Go, you know, bring your church. Go out and go see this movie. It's a PG-rated movie. You can bring your kids. And, and it's a really good story. It's a, it's a story about second chances and change and redemption, and, and, and I think people will be inspired by it. Ja Rule, I want to thank you so very much. I know God has a plan for each of us, and if we could see that, and I see what you're doing with this movie at a critical time. This is so very important. I want to let my listening audience know that I don't have any investment in this film, and but no I doubt. can see God when he's at work. Ja Rule, Jeff Ja Rule, thank you so very much for thank being on so the Valder BB Show. Thank you so you, much. You made my day. <laughs> you made mine. Thanks for having me.